Joining us now, our first call of the day for the Darren Dudrick Memorial Show from Washington, D.C., the sole congressperson in the U.S. Congress for the state of Wyoming, Representative Liz Cheney. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we're having some technical difficulties. Give us a second, Congresswoman. All right, can you hear us now? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, just fine. Thank you. It's, Great. I've never hosted a memorial show before, so I'm still grappling with the technical intricacies. Well, I'm, uh, it's uh, such a such tragic and sad thing. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just honored to be able to be with you all this morning and, and talk about Darian and, and all he meant Um you know, I, I just all the different discussions and conversations that we had over the years. Uh, he was such a great, um, a great interviewer uh, because he always he was obviously so up to speed on everything that was happening. Um, he was fair. He asked, you know, great questions and he listened and uh, always gave us a chance to, um, you know, lay out our case and. Um, you know, you knew it was going to be a tough interview. He was going to ask the hard questions too, but but again, always listened and um, just just such a tremendous loss. And we've been been praying for him and the family, and such a loss uh, a loss for Cody certainly. Well, we're honored that you were able to take the time to spend with us. We're a community in grief at this point. But I was just saying just a couple minutes ago, the fact that Darren was such an excellent listener. I mean, I've seen a number of your interviews, especially recently, Congresswoman. It seems like a lot of media has a particular agenda. They're trying to lead you to a specific place where they want you to say one thing or another. And that was never Darren. Like, regardless of what his opinions were, he was always one to sit down and listen and treat people as people before anything else. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's such a testament to him and his professionalism that I'm not even sure I know, you know, what, what Darren's views were on a lot of these issues. You know, sometimes off the air, you know, you could sort of have an, an off the record discussion and kind of say, OK, you know, here's what's really going on. Here's what's happening. But, um, you know, he just was completely, completely fair to all. And um, and it, it is, you know, your, your point about you do interviews where people have agendas. And look, I, I think his only agenda was getting information to his listeners and making sure that, you know, those of us who are in public life, but, you know, also maybe folks just in the community who aren't in, you know, elected positions, just anybody who went on his show knew he was going to give them a forum and um, he was going to, you know, let them speak and let them get their message out. And, and of course, being able to um, have calls from the community while you were there in the studio uh, just really um, was great for us, you know, for the guests, because, um, you know, it was just one one more way to hear from people, one more way to hear the questions people have and to get advice. And the it takes it takes a lot of skill to provide that kind of forum. And, and Darren always made it look easy and he always made it look fun. And, um, you know, you, you, the, that's the real that tells you how skilled he was at, at what he did. Well, I imagine in your position, Congresswoman, when, you know, there is so much information, especially on social media about what's happening in the world and so many different perspectives, it must have been valuable for you to be able to come up to Cody and spend that much time with Darren, just telling people the facts and the truths as they were without worrying about having to get into the knit and grit or having your your conversation steered in another direction. It, yeah, exactly. And and also the fact that, that we had time, you know, it wasn't just a sort of a three minute or seven minute, you know, but, but you, you could be on uh, for an hour. And, and the time on the air with Darren always went so fast. You know, you'd sit down and, and then all of a sudden you'd think, my gosh, it's over already. Because his questions were so interesting and insightful. And um, he, he always covered you know, the whole landscape, whatever, whatever was happening, whatever the issues of the day were, um, you know, he covered them and, uh, just, just such a, such a huge loss, um, uh, for all of us who care about, about Wyoming, who care about Cody and, um, who, who care about the country because it just, it's too rare to have somebody who provides that kind of a forum and, and who's as skilled as at what he did as, as Darren was. Absolutely. And I know, 
one of the things that Darren truly enjoyed was the time off the microphone and there wasn't an interview. And the thing that strikes me about that is he was the same person on air as he was off air. And I know, I, I know for a fact he enjoyed the moments he got the chat with you when it wasn't live and fielding questions from the community just because he could relate to you one-on-one -on -one as the person you are. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it was always, you know, just, uh, he always had a smile and he always would say, okay, so now, you know, <laughs> here's what it looks like is happening. Is that what's really happening? <laughs> and he could say, well, sort of, <laughs> um, but, but just, um, always, always such a real pleasure and, um, you know, such a, just an unusual opportunity to know you were dealing with somebody who wasn't going to play gotcha, who was going to ask all the questions that needed to be asked, get the information out for his listeners. Um, and, and, and ask the questions in a way that was really probing and got to, um, to the heart of the matter. So, uh, he'll, he'll just be so missed as a, as a person, uh, I, I know as a, as a father and, uh, you know, as somebody who just contributed so much to, to the community and to our state. Well, I know you're extremely busy, Congresswoman. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do have one more question before we let you go. Is there any message you would like to communicate do, to the Dudrick family in particular at this time? Well, just to know how much uh, Darren was loved, um, to know, you know, what they and they, they all know um, and the love that, that they have for him as a member of the family, but how much he was loved by the community and how much he was valued and um just what a what a tremendous contribution he made and you know when you when you live in a system like ours where um you know people uh have the opportunity uh to engage on all of these issues um that kind of a system can't function without um uh, people of the the kind of skill and commitment and dedication to the truth and to honest reporting um and and to being unbiased as as Darren had and so he'll just be tremendously missed but you know he leaves a legacy and he, he leaves a, a model an example for for all of us to look up to as we you know engage in our in our civic lives oh congresswoman cheney thank you so much for this your time this morning i know it means a lot to the family means a lot to us darren's co-workers at the bighorn radio network and i know for a fact it would have been a tremendous honor and meant the world to darren himself so thank you so much for being with us well, it's it's my honor, and uh, all the best to to you guys and to the family, and uh, and he he will uh, he'll be remembered very very much. Thank you for your extremely kind words. Have an excellent day. Thank you. You too.